Good morning, everyone. Let me begin by saying there are some days when it's wonderful to be a university president, and this is one of those days. My name is Tom Kazee. I'm the president of the University of Evansville. Thank you for joining us here today. An exciting day for all of, of those of us who love UE. One month ago, the University of Evansville lost a dear friend and lifetime trustee, Dr. William L. Ridgway. We had the opportunity to celebrate Dr. Ridgway's life in a moving memorial service in UE's new chapel, just a few yards from here, which was appropriate given his commitment to this university. We need only look at the building behind us to recognize the tremendous impact he has had on UE. Thanks to Dr. Ridgway, UE benefits from our world-class Ridgway University Center, a 92,000 square foot building we call our campus living room, where students eat, study, and socialize, along with a myriad of other university activities. It's also due to his generosity that we own Harlexton College, our British campus, which provides opportunities for hundreds of students to study abroad every semester. It is by any objective measure, one of the most distinctive and successful international study experiences in the world. A program that serves a large number of our own students, but also many students from other colleges and universities. It is abundantly clear that though Dr. Ridgway passed away on March the 8th, the impact of his generosity is visible on our campus and around the world every day. We are much in his debt. Today, I'm pleased to share with you some incredible news about how Dr. Ridgway will continue to shape UE and its students and faculty for generations to come. After his death, we learned that Dr. Ridgway left $39 million to the University of Evansville. That's right, $39 million, the largest gift in the history of the university. The total of Dr. Ridgway's giving to UE is now $52.6 million, making him the largest donor in UE's 159-year history. It is an understatement of considerable proportions to say that we're deeply humbled by this magnificent act of philanthropy. Dr. Ridgway was a passionate believer in higher education and in the University of Evansville, and he was determined to make a dramatic investment in this institution. He knew that with his help, the University of Evansville could become an even more powerful force of transformation for our students and for this community. Of the $39 million total gift, we'll receive an initial gift of $5 million to be added to the university's endowment. A substantial proportion of that endowment will be used to create the Ridgeway Endowment for Faculty Excellence. Our faculty are at the center of the UE experience, and this endowment affirms our commitment to support them in their work and professional development. The Ridgeway Endowment for Faculty Excellence will support the efforts of our talented teachers and scholars in many ways, including making funds available for travel, research, and other projects. The remaining $34 million will be administered through a trust at Old National Bank here in Evansville. The trustees of the bank will distribute 5% of the funds annually to the University of Evansville according to laws governing nonprofit organizations. The terms of Dr. Ridgway's gift enable the university to submit requests for larger one-time amounts for special projects. For example, initiatives detailed in the university's vision statement. Our vision statement, which is available online, identifies priorities for the university as we move forward to incorporate elements of the strategic plan approved by the Board of Trustees two years ago, 
as well as the facilities master plan we completed last year. These plans include enhancements to facilities, academic programs, and student and residential life, all designed to build on the university's foundation of distinctive excellence. That vision continues to be shaped and refined in numerous conversations with members of the university family on and off campus. Dr. Ridgway believed in this vision. He believed in this university. And his remarkable gift demonstrated this vote of confidence in a truly dramatic way. We are inspired by this expression of support for this vision. We are, of course, aware that we now have a responsibility to be effective stewards of those resources. Indeed, a key objective for us now is to use this awesome gift to motivate others to join in the university project. This is a gift of amazing proportions, to be sure, but Dr. Ridgway's life exemplified that such philanthropy is foundational. We will use this profound gift as a basis for enhancements to the university that will, in the end, depend on others who are inspired by Dr. Ridgway's remarkable generosity. In short, this gift, as Dr. Ridgway understood and intended, is not an end, but a beginning. Now, to tell you a bit more about Dr. Ridgway, I'd like to welcome to the podium Jack Barner, UE's Vice President for Development. Jack? $39 million. Just warms your heart. You know, I was very fortunate. I had almost 12 years to spend with Bill. He, he was a gentleman, he was quiet, he was reserved, and he really, really loved this place. It was amazing, his attitude about the university and specifically its students. He spent time thinking about that, about how he could help, how he could grow that. My job here is to say thank you, Bill. I know you're up there somewhere listening. I know you're smiling. He, he amassed this money quietly and privately. We would chat once in a while and he would tell me, you know, I think I do a better job than, uh, than the university's investment committee, so I'm not gonna tell you how much I have, but it will keep on growing. Just leave me alone and be quiet. And you know, I was, and he did, and it had an impact. It had a big impact. Bill is a kind of individual that didn't want to make waves, but another individual had said to me once, it's important to leave little footprints in the snow after you've passed on. And I want to say very clearly that Bill has done that. He has impacted this community this university, but overwhelmingly, he has impacted the students of this place. He really cared, he put his money where his mouth was, he made an impact. You take a look at what he did, $52.6 million of his personal savings and investment. And some of those went back to the gift that his father gave him when his father passed on. He had some IBM shares that were original, I think. So I just don't, that kind, of, that kind of caring, that kind of involvement, that kind of passion for this place is hard to duplicate. So Bill, speaking from myself and from all of your friends at this university, please accept our heartfelt thanks and appreciation. Let me point out a man in the audience here, Mel, Mel, I want to wave. <clears throat> Mel was Bill's partner for longer than I've been alive. <laughs> well, that's not quite true, is it? <laughs> the two of them are a team. And uh, it's just great to have you here today, Mel, and be involved with this, okay? 
You're doing well. Thank you. The Ridgeway Scholars were another one of those little projects that um, Bill Ridgeway played with. He would like to involve students from England, bring them over here so they could experience the United States. Uh, we have one of those students with us today. And uh, I would like Alice to come on up front. Alice is from Nottingham? Okay, you'll tell the folks, all right? And Alice is here to talk to us about what it means as a student and as a Ridgeway Scholar. I have never had the opportunity, the great fortune, to meet Dr. Ridgway in person, but it is thanks to him that I am able to study here at the University of Evansville this year as the Ridgway Scholar. I am from the town of Spalding, about 30 minutes away from UE's Harlexton College in Grantham, England. I can personally tell you that Dr. Ridgway's influence and generosity has had an, an impact on the lives of students for many years and from many parts of the globe. I am proud to be here today to say thank you on behalf of those many, many people. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Jack. Uh, this brings us to the end of our formal part of the presentation. I'd be happy to entertain any questions at this time. Those in the media who might want to talk uh, with us uh, in a little more detail will be around uh, here right after we've concluded this ceremony, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions I can entertain from the group while we're here? <laughs> Jack asked how much that gift was. I think it was 39 million, uh, roughly. As as I began, probably it's a nice way to bring it full circle. There are there are days when you realize just what good work this is, and to be able to look out at you and see uh, a, a collection of students and faculty uh, and staff and members of the board of trustees and others who serve the university in so many ways. This gift enables us to move ever closer to achieving the goals we have for the University of Evansville. It, it is a, a signal day in the life of this university. So thank you so much again for coming. Uh, stay tuned for further news about how we plan to use these resources to the benefit of the University of Evansville. Thanks so much.